Welcome to Signal University's presentation of How is Signal Measured? What is Signal? It's content. It's radio. It's television. It's internet. It's anything that travels over a wire or through the air. And Signal comes to us through broadcasting. Broadcasting is essentially wireless electricity. It works like this. Put up electricity through a pole and it will radiate outward. Make the pole big enough and the electricity will travel for miles. This was originally intended to power appliances remotely, but it doesn't work like that. Put enough electricity out there to power an appliance remotely and you'll probably kill something nearby. Now, signal is different from plain old electricity like this. Electricity used for power is as smooth as possible with irregular spikes. We call these surges. Electricity used for signal has very regular patterns built into it. The process of applying a pattern to that electricity to turn it into a signal is called modulation. This is what modulation looks like. It's possible to change a little bit of the character of electricity. We start with a carrier wave, which is what you see above you. Now, if we vary the height of the waves that we lay on top of that carrier wave, in other words, if it makes it a little more or less powerful over time, that's amplitude modulation. If we slow down or speed up the wave, as you can see in this demonstration below, that's frequency modulation, or FM. RF, or radio frequency transmission, works like this. We start with a huge amount of electricity going through a big pole somewhere else. Now at a distance, we put up a piece of metal. Everything conducts electricity, but some materials like metals are very good at it. When that electricity hits that metal, it causes a change. It sort of wobbles a little bit. Not so much that you can see it, but just a little bit. It wobbles in exact proportion to the signal that's being put through it at the broadcast source. A material that does a very good job of wobbling when you send a signal to it is called an antenna. In order to broadcast, you need a lot of power. A TV station will use somewhere between 3,000 and 1 million watts of power to transmit. Keep in mind, you know, a light bulb is only about 15, 20 watts. And we're talking about a million watts. Speaking of which, a watt is a measure of energy over time. Attenuation means the further away you are from the tower, the less signal you're going to get. In a perfect scenario, every time you double the distance from the transmitter, you only get one quarter of the power. That's a best case scenario. Keep in mind, attenuation is also caused by trees, hills, and heavy weather patterns. While a signal is very strong when it leaves the tower, it gets very weak when it gets to your antenna. That's because of attenuation. By the time it gets to your antenna, it's one ten thousandth as strong as a light bulb. Because of this, we need to find a way to measure signal that measures large changes using small numbers, but still makes it easy to see small changes as well. In order to measure small amounts of signal, we use a decibel scale. What is a decibel? You probably think it's a measure of sound, but it isn't. It's a measure of change. Decibels, abbreviated D capital B, measure the difference when compared to something. When a sound is 80 decibels, it's 80 decibels compared to complete silence. The reason decibels work out so well is because they're a logarithmic scale. In other words, every time you add 10, you're actually multiplying by 10. 10 dB is 10 times the power. 20 dB is 100 times the power. Minus 10 dB is 1 tenth the power. Minus 20 dB is 1 one hundredth the power. It also works out that a 3 dB increase is about twice as much. A 6 dB increase is about four times as much. Signal strength is measured usually using one of two measurements. dBm's is a measurement compared to one milliwatt. Or dB microvolts, which looks like dB UV, even though the U is really a Greek letter mu is relative to one microvolt. dB microvolts are relative to the impedance of the cable. dBm is not. The signals used for antenna and satellite and cable are extremely weak. They're so weak that they wouldn't power this average light bulb. 
the typical strength for a signal running through a wire is negative 40 dBms, or one ten thousandth of a microwatt, or one ten millionth of a watt. Keep in mind, a light bulb's 12, 15, maybe 20 watts. Gain and loss are opposites. In other words, a negative 10 dB gain is the same as a 10 dB loss. The neat thing about measuring in dBs is that all you have to do is add and subtract in order to get the kind of information that you need. If your signal is at negative 40 dBms and you add a 15 dB amplifier, you get a minus 25 dB signal. It's that simple. Because signal is measured in decibels, every single one counts. It's logarithmic. Remember that a loss of only 3 dB means you've lost half the signal. Adding only 3 dB means you get twice the signal. Think about it this way. Let's suppose you had this much money. That's a lot of money, right? Now, if you lost 3 dBs of your money, you'd only have that much money. Still a decent amount of money, but think about all that you've lost. That's just for 3 dBs. Signal and how signal is measured is a pretty complex thing. So if you'd like to know more, go to the Signal Group forums at solidsignal.com forum or send us an email at info at solidsignal.com.